Good morning and welcome to a new syntax class. We're going to go back to page 10 in your manuals, exercise or task 13. Remember we did this, these three uh, sentences yesterday and we stopped here. We saw the house that all of us have painted was torn down yesterday. We did the tree diagram out of it and we stopped there. What is the new thing today? We're going to analyze the embedded sentence. So I'm going to teach you a new rule then. Embedded sentence is always complementizer plus new sentence. You need to learn this. This is super, super important. This rule, syntactic rule is super important, okay? So what does that mean? It means that whenever we have a sentence bar, an embedded sentence, we need to write complementizer plus new sentence. So two elements, the complementizer and the new sentence. What do I mean by complementizer? The relative pronoun, that. This is the complementizer. What is the new sentence? All of us have painted. All of us have painted, okay? So, as usual, the sentence has a subject and a predicate. The subject is all of us. That's the noun phrase. And have painted is the verb phrase. Let's start by doing the verb phrase because it's shorter. Have painted, auxiliary verb. And that's it. Now let's take a look at the subject. The subject has a pronoun and a prepositional phrase. Pronoun all, prepositional phrase of us. Of is a preposition, us is a pronoun. And that will be it. Then this will be the full tree diagram. How do I write the rewrite rules? Well, I need to start by sentence. Sentence is normally noun phrase plus verb phrase. The noun phrase is determiner plus noun plus sentence bar. Determiner plus noun plus sentence bar. And the verb phrase is auxiliary plus phrasal verb plus adverb. Auxiliary plus phrasal verb plus adverb. The sentence bar, the embedded sentence is complementizer plus new sentence. Sentence is the same, so I don't need to copy. Noun phrase is different, so and the different noun phrase will be pronoun plus verb phrase. My verb phrase is different too, so I need to write auxiliary plus verb. And here my verb phrase is Hmm? What? Pronoun plus prepositional phrase. Oh, I made a mistake. Sorry about that. Prepositional phrase is preposition plus pronoun. And that would be it. Okay, so this would be it. Questions about it? Comments? Use the forum to ask your questions. Let's do one more. Shall we? The sentence number, sentence number four, task 13, page 10 in your manual says, an unusual issue was brought up by the school board when the academic year started. An unusual issue was brought up by the board, brought up by the school board when the academic year started. So when the academic year started is the, the missing part, okay? I'm going to write this here because there is no more room. So I'll do this then. Okay. What is sentence bar? What is an embedded sentence? Is complementizer plus a new sentence. What is my new sentence? The academic year started. It has a subject and a predicate. The subject is a noun phrase, the predicate is a verb phrase. 
The academic year has three elements. The academic year. The is a determiner. Academic is an adjective. Year is a noun. Started is a verb. That's it. Finished. See how easy it is? It, ju it is just a matter of practice. Even though the sentences are long, it's just a matter of practice. Let's do one more. Number five, you need two more, uh, just two ingredients to stir up the citrus dressing that drizzle over this fruit medley. Okay. We did this already. You need just two ingredients to stir up the citrusy dressing. And this is the embedded sentence. Okay. So it says that's drizzled over this fruit medley. That is the contraction of that is. That is drizzled over this fruit. It's not that has drizzled. It's that is drizzled. Okay. So, sent complementizer. Embedded sentence is complementizer plus new sentence. What is my new sentence? Something is drizzled over this fruit medley. Something. This is an example of a no, non-overt subject. So my subject here is zero. Subject zero. Yes, non-overt, no subject. And then my verb phrase, my predicate is drizzled is is an auxiliary drizzled is a verb is drizzled over this fruit medley is a prepositional phrase prepositional phrase has a preposition over and then we have another phrase what kind of phrase is a noun phrase this fruit medley is a noun phrase this is a determiner fruit is an adjective and medley is a noun. This fruit medley. And that will be it. Look how how the way it looks. Yes, it uh, because of the English syntax, then it tends to go always or most of the time to the right side. Because that's the way we speak and what that's the way we we write. Yes. So that will be it then. What do we have next? Well, we did task 13 and you were supposed to do task 14 as well. So shall we do one of these or what should I do? Show you? I'll show you the first uh, one of each. What do you think? One of each type and then the rest is on you. Deal. All right. Uh, I decided to do one of for exercise one, task 14, page 11, and one from exercise two. And let's leave exercise three for uh, next week. No, in two weeks from now, because you don't have any classes next week because it's Easter week. All right. So. This is a sentence. The old house that he bought with effort will be demolished next month. What is the subject? House, right? So the old house. So, but where, up to where does my subject go? Remember the subject finishes right before the main verb. What is the main verb? Demolished. So here, the old house that he bought with effort is my subject. And my predicate is, will be demolished next month. So, where is the embedded sentence? In the subject or in the predicate? Yes, you're right. It's in the subject. Very good. So, let's analyze the verb phrase first because it's shorter. Will, auxiliary, be, infinitive, demolished, verb, noun phrase next month and that's it finish with the predicate let's look at the subject now the old house 
that he bought with effort. The old house center bar. And that's it. Remember what is sentence bar? Sentence bar is complementizer plus a new sentence. And what is the sentence? The sentence is he bought bought with effort. So noun phrase and verb phrase. The subject of the sentence is he. It's a pronoun. Bought with effort is the verb phrase. Bought is a verb with effort is a prepositional phrase. With is a preposition, effort is, what is effort, a noun? Yeah, a noun. And that's it, we're finished. What is the new thing? Introducing the new sentence through a complementizer. This is the part that you need to learn. Also, you need to learn to distinguish between subject and predicate. That's super basic, but super important, fundamental for you to do the rest of the things. Also, you need to learn to identify where the embedded sentence is because that determines how your, your tree diagram will look like. Okay, let's do one more. Exercise 2, non overt non subject task 14, it says, number one says, that lady who is sitting beside your sister has stolen her expensive purse. Okay, so where is the subject? Lady is the subject, but up to where? Remember, subject finishes right before the main verb. The main verb is has stolen, that means here. That lady who is sitting beside your sister is the subject of the sentence. Okay. Where is the main sentence? Inside the subject or inside the predicate? Inside the subject. Is introduced by a complementizer. Who? A relative pronoun. So, sentence is noun phrase plus verb phrase. Verb phrase is an auxiliary plus a verb plus a noun phrase. Her expensive purse is a noun phrase. Her is a determiner, is a possessive pronoun. Expensive is an adjective and purse is a noun. Finish. Now let's take a look at the noun phrase. That lady who, that lady who. That determiner, lady, noun, who, sentence bar. Sentence bar is always a complementizer plus a new sentence. The new sentence is, she is sitting beside your sister. Because this is the type two non overt null subject, that means that the subject we cannot see. She is the subject. She is, is an auxiliary verb. Sitting is a verb. Beside your sister, prepositional phrase. Beside is a preposition. Your sister is a noun phrase. Your is a determiner, sister is a noun. Did you see it? See how easy it is. It can be complex, it can be long, but not difficult. Because everything is super organized. That's the English language. It's an analytic language, analytic languages are super structured, super organized, let's say. So there is nothing uh, very difficult. Okay, what is your task then? Your task is to take a look at this page 11 in your manual and to try to do all of the examples. Then remember, the more you practice, the better. There is a, a, a phrase that says, Practice makes perfect. So, enjoy. Goodbye. See you.